everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I thought I'd bring Mr. Brown in and let him speak a little bit, because that's what he's going to do, I think. We went out for a little walk, and um, I had him in a towel like this, so that he could see where we were going, and we walked. And he liked it, except he didn't like it when we went by the road. The cars were too noisy, and it scared him, and he would go, a lot of squeaking. So I walked around the chicken area, and then I put him in a planter to see if he could dust bathe. And he was dust bathe. I actually went out and gathered some fine dirt because I tried, I tried um, sifting it, but it wasn't going to be as fine as what we have outside. So I gathered up two little dog dishes of the nice fluffy dirt, and I put it in the planter and let him dust around. But I think I, I told Jim I need something deeper because he can really fluff and throw that dirt. So I have to sweep the floor up in there after he's done, which is not the best thing to have to do. What are you doing? Are you pecking at me? He sees a mole on my arm and he'll try to peck it off. It's so funny, a beauty mark, not a mole. I don't have moles, I've got beauty marks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna put in a little video you're going to see, we, um, it's not the walk with Mr. Brown, but it is a walk outside. And then you're going to see Pretty Boy, how he asks for his food and how he asks for his chicken scratch. Because I don't give it to him until he does this. So you will see that. And then we'll be right back. Well, let's go for a little walk. I hope I'm in the camera because, you know, I can't tell because this GoPro only has the one side where you can walk and talk and you hope you're in the lens. What I want to show you is I've got my snake gourds growing and you know my snake gourds don't look anything like everybody else's snake gourds. And I want to show you what mine look like. Mine look like a bottle gourd but it was the snake gourd seed that I used. So we're going to go out and take a look. And Mr. Brown and I watched a few videos together. Um, he pecks at the at the picture, and, and he pecks when I when I start typing. He keeps pecking and gets himself in the way. Well, here's I'll turn around so you can see the. Do you see the gourds? Look at them. I mean the plant. This is the plant. Look how it's filled in. I'm gonna let you just look, so I can see what you see. But look at it, it goes all the way up there and all the way down. It's growing and we've re-looped it around. Well, what I want to show you is, I've got to go underneath here. It's like a tunnel. It's a tunnel. Oh, I've got to get in here. Whoops. I'm getting, I'm getting tangled. Okay. Here's one of my gourds. Do you see how it looks like a bottle gourd? Look at that. How it is growing. It was more, uh, here's another one. Look at that, how they're growing. They're supposed to be long like a snake. They're not. Here's another one down here. Look at that, how beautiful they are. If they, these could be, these I think are going to be birdhouses or something like a birdhouse or a nice rattle. Who knows what this will be. I won't let it get as huge as those other ones. I guess that's it. Oh, I will come out. My goodness, see what I was going through? It's like a jungle trying to get in there. I just let Jake out to go potty, so now I'm going to wait and see if the rooster will do his crow for me. He hops up on, he looks up and down, looking him up and down. They're all wanting the snack. He will do it. Whoop. He's pushing her away. That is Rhonda that he chased. <laughs> Good boy, pretty boy. I could see you were going to go up there. I'll get you your snack. Okay, 
pretty boy. Down you go. Come on, little baby. In you go. Hey, where are you going? Come back, come back. Back up, everybody. Here, chick, 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 chick. Here, chick, 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 chick. Here, chick, 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 chick. Here, chick, 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 chick. There you go. Notice the difference in size of the little one. That's actually a week older than Mr. Brown. And the other ones are Silver's and Rhonda's babies. Asamani is over there. There's Rosie. Rosie is right there. Rosie to come a little closer. Rosie and the rooster are eating. These are my, this is my funny head hen. And that one over there is a funny hen, head hen. She's a funny head hen, too. We'll go in and see. What are you doing in here? The girls are still sitting on their nests. No babies yet. Babies yet. One egg today, that's it. I have to look under the girls, see if there's anything under them. You want to hold the door up so I can look? You hold that too. Oh, I'm sorry, Dorothy. I, I know, Dorothy. I have to look. Nope, she's got nothing. How are you, Emma? Let me look, Emma. Yours was... Oh, let me see, baby. You're so puffed up, I can't see anything. Anyway. Dorothy, let me see, Emma. I know. Oh, her egg is broken. There's, she probably has a chick under there, maybe. All right, all right. I don't know, I saw a broken egg. So that's probably why she's fighting me. I have to move the two mamas tonight because last night we had a hard time with Blackie. Blackie is really mean. I had to move her off of um, the nest because... She was sitting on the egg with her babies, and poor Emma didn't know where to go. So I moved her off the nest, and when I picked her up, she was biting on me. She still bites. She bites terrible. So she's not a nice bird even, still not a nice bird, where Emma has calmed down a lot. I tried to look under Emma to see if there was any eggs, and I saw a broken eggshell, so I'm going to have to move her. And I will move Dorothy, too, because I don't want... Their babies are so close to being hatched. I don't want a different bird to hatch them out. Otherwise, they'll think that they're the mama. And that would not be very nice. Well, Mr. Brown really wants to get back into his house. He's kind of trying to scoot out of this. I'll let him up a little ways so you can see him before we go. You want to come say hello? Of course, and we all talk to the animals, and I'm sure you guys think that that's crazy. But there's Mr. Brown. Yep, there you are. We put a roosting bar in his little cage so he can roost, but he hasn't roosted yet. So I put his pretend... Oh, you just pooped. He says, I wanted to poop. That's why I had to get out of that towel. He pooped on the towel. Well, this is a good place to poop, little boy. Mm -hmm. Um. So... Anyways, I'll have to go clean up things, and I'll, oh, you're stretching your legs and scratching. He's doing a lot of stuff. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow, so bye.